Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a look at the new Windows Phone Custom Theme Generator. Now, Windows Mobile has always had the capability to customize the background and the color of the menu bars, but this new custom theme generator goes a lot further and lets you customize even more aspects of the Windows Mobile operating system that you couldn't before. It's also web-based and it's free, so it's really easy to use uh, so that you can whip up new themes when you get tired of your current theme. To get it, you go to windowsphone.com. You'll be redirected to uh, this URL up here. And then you click on Custom Theme Creator down here towards the bottom of the page. And we're going to walk through this. So click Start the Custom Theme Generator. Now, right now, you get a choice of three devices, but don't let that deter you. Uh, if you click on the HTC Pure or the HTC Imagio, these are just going to generate themes uh, based on the screen resolution of these devices, so 800 by 480, also known as WVGA. So if you have a Touch Pro 2 or a Touch HD or a Touch Diamond 2 or the plethora of other devices that have the WVGA resolution, that doesn't matter. Click on any of these. Uh, the Pure or the Imagio, and it'll work. Over here, if you have a QVGA screen, you can click on the Intrepid. We should note that the theme does not work on Windows Mobile 6.1 or 6.0, only on 6.5. So let's start off. We'll go to the HTC Pure. And let's start with a color palette before we customize the colors. So we can choose orange or green. You know, for October, let's do orange. And right away, we can change the style of kind of how the corners look. So we can round off the corners a little bit, make them look a little bit 3D, or we can have kind of a glassy effect that's a little bit more subtle, or we can keep it basic by doing sort of the flat, not glassy, or not 3D look. You know, I like the 3D look. We're going to stay with that. And we can flip between these three different screenshots to customize certain elements. So let's start with this top bar here. I'm going to click on that. It gives you some color choices, but if you click on the question mark, you get a color palette. So I'm going to make the top bar actually a bright red. Click Keep. OK, that's good. And on the bottom, I'm going to make the bottom bar actually a black. Kind of get the Halloween color thing going. So black. OK, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to click over to this screen here and change the color of this strip that appears on the top of a reminder. So click that. And we're going to go with black again, just to kind of match the bottom. And we're going to go over here to change the highlighting color. So click on the highlighting. And this time, we're going to go with, uh, let's, let's do yellow this time. Kind of a mustard yellow. It's kind of ugly, but it works. So a yellow color. And finally, we can change the color of these little uh, scrolling bars here when you're in a context menu. And you guessed it, we're going to make this black as well, just to keep the whole um, everything kind of congruent. So here's our theme. It's not the most beautiful theme. You can certainly mess around. And let's, let's go to the next step. So the next step is wallpaper your phone. So we can keep this wallpaper, which is the standard thing, or we can upload our own image. So here I have a sample gallery of pictures. None of them are really Halloween-like or October, but um, let's, use, uh, let's use desert. That kind of works. Now from here, we can move the picture around. And if you want to move it around on the landscape view, let's say you have a uh, Touch Pro 2, so you look at the landscape view when you slide out the keyboard, you can move it around. You can zoom in on the picture. Let's say we want to just capture the, the top of this, uh, this rock structure here. And over here in Portrait, we want to do the same, zoom in a little bit, get that rock structure there. We can rotate the picture. We can um, revert it to the, we can flip it vertically. So I'm going to click Keep. And now we can do some other things to the picture. So we've already changed the size and position. We can change the color by changing the hue, kind of giving it a tint, although that really is kind of ugly. Um, change the saturation, reduce some of the color, kind of make it grayscale. I'm going to click Cancel because I like how it looks. Go to Contrast. You can change the contrast and the brightness. And finally, you can go to Effects. And if you want, you can make it monochrome. Um, you can make it uh, blurred a little bit or you can make it embossed, and so on and so forth. You can really experiment uh, to your heart's content. I'm going to click Cancel. And finally, this is the last step. We go to Generate Your Theme. Now you're going to want to name your theme. I'm going to call this October. And you can have it put on your device in two ways. You can have it sent via text message, and you'll get a link to download it. And then you'll download it, and then you'll have to go through this quick procedure. You go to Start. Settings and today, you'll see a list of themes, and then you'll click on October or whatever you named it. Or the alternative method is that you save it to your computer locally, and you take the CAB file, you transfer it to your phone, you run the CAB file, and then you go through that same procedure, start settings today, 
people that have been using Windows Mobile will find this very easy. It's what we've been doing for many years. So that was a quick look at the custom theme generator for Windows Mobile 6.5 devices. Again, you can get to this by going to windowsphone.com. For more on Windows Phone and Windows Mobile 6.5, check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.